Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. I'm coming. Who is it? Hello, Bertha. Come on in. I come for the sheets to wash. I got them all ready for you in the bedroom. Good. I'll get them. I'll get them. You do enough running. You sit down here a minute and rest. Oh, no. All day long I have been sitting. Fritz had an old sweater, and I had to make new sleeves for it. You can do everything, can't you? Just like Mama. Your Mama and I, we had a long time to learn. No, no, no. It, it's more than that. I know because I'm just mastering buttons. And as for darning, never, never, never. <laughs> I don't like darning either. You don't? Mm-mm. Did your husband like the salmon mousse? Oh, I knew I had something to tell you, Bertha. He loved it. Ah, good. And so did Mama. And so did Fritz. Did he know it was salmon? When he finished, then I told him. And he didn't like it then. But already he had enjoyed it all. Mama and David knew right off, and they liked it anyway. <laughs> you know, that's really a compliment to your Bertha. And Dad, there's some left, too. I'll have it for lunch tomorrow myself. Put it in some tomatoes with mayonnaise over it. It'll be like a new dish. I'll do just that. I'd use it tonight, but Mr. Norton and I are going out to dinner. Besides, he, he's not mad about leftovers. I noticed you're all dressed up nicely. You look so pretty. Is it a birthday? No? No, no occasion. Mr. Norton just wanted to take me out to dinner, that's all. Doing things like that makes you both stay young. Hey, I told you never to leave this door open. Want to wake up murdered someday? Oh, David, are you home? Wait a minute, I'll ask myself. <laughs> what about the door? It's all right, I'm not alone. Oh, hello, Bertha. Good evening, Mr. Norton. I go now and get the laundry. Uh, it's all right, Bertha. No hello for me? Not one. A kiss is better than a hello any day. You're home late. I'm home early. Seems late to me. Should. As a matter of fact, it seemed late to me all day today. How about you? Since we've been married, time seems to slow up around four o'clock. Be awful if it were lopsided, wouldn't it? If what were? Us. I mean, if the day seemed long to me and short to you. Well, we could always buy a couple of watches. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Norton. Good night. You're the chef of all chefs, Bertha. Oh, Mr. Norton. Stop blushing, Bertha. You know it's true. Wait till you taste the goulash I made. <laughs> I go now. I bring the sheets back soon. No hurry. We've got lots more. We haven't really, but I can borrow some of Mama's. Say, listen, you're going to have to get over that habit. What do you mean? Well, we can't be poaching on your mother's household indefinitely. Oh. We've got her own now. Oh, she doesn't mind. She'd be insulted if we didn't. I don't think she'd be so insulted. You don't? Darling, I, you know how I feel about your mother. I only know you're wonderful to her, David. I could love you for that alone. That's no good reason. Oh, I didn't say it was the only reason. You'd better not. See her today? Is she all right? She says she's fine. I called and asked her to come over, but she says she's glad to be rid of us. Good for Mama. I'll call her before we go out to dinner. Oh, would you, David? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Sitting down on the sofa. Why? So you can sit down beside me. I thought we were going out for dinner. Oh, we can eat a little later tonight, hmm? I'll be starved later. That's good. I'm all ready to go, so I won't hold you up. Say, David, guess what I did today? Mm, let's see. You washed your hair. How could you tell? Does it look awful? <laughs> Not bad. It smells pretty. You know, men are lucky. All they ever need is a haircut every six months. I'd look lovely with a haircut every six months. Say, you know, I'm sorry I sat down. Why? Now I don't want to get up. That's good. Well, I feel like a new man after my shave. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. I thought you said you were all ready half an hour ago. I was, but I'm not anymore. What happened to unready you? My hat won't stay on my head because of my hair. <laughs> Don't wear a hat. I have to. Why? Because of my hair. It's all over the place. Have you called Mama? I did that, too. Well? There was no answer. That's funny. What do you suppose? I suppose nothing. 
Can't you even suppose a little where she's gone? Nope. She's a big girl now. She can go where she wants. That's true. Well, I'm ready. We're on our way. At last. Let's go. Hey, did you hear that? Somebody's trying to get in. I wonder who it is. Stand back, darling. I will not. I don't want you to get shot. Will you get out of my way now? What are you going to do? <laughs> so you're the burglar, Mother. Mama, what do you know? <laughs> you look so surprised. I am. We thought we thought you were out. <laughs> trying the little housebreaking, eh, Mother? <laughs> Claudia gave me this key just yesterday. I did? In case you were in the bathtub and I came over. Oh, yes, so I did. Come on in, Mama. Claudia... Who else have you been giving keys to? Oh, I give them to just anybody. Well, I thought you'd be out for dinner. Claudia, didn't you say you were going... I suppose that's why you came over. Exactly. Sorry to disappoint you, but we're a little off schedule. Hey, come on and eat with us. Thank you, no. I'll wait here for you. Now run along. Not without you. Then I'll turn around and go home again. Oh, that's silly. What'll you do home? Have you had dinner? David, tell her I did not come to eat. You don't look as if you'd have dinner, have you? None of your business. See, David, she didn't. By what secret code did you figure that out? When you've known Mama as long as I have, you'll know not to believe a word she says. Pay no attention, David. She doesn't know what she's talking about. And the funny part about it, Mother, is that she makes the most sense when she doesn't know what she's talking about. Mama, you stay here. We're about to have a family conference. Imbeciles, the two of you. Darling, what have you got in the icebox? Practically nothing. Why? Well, let's eat that. Maybe Mother will stay around and have dinner with us. (gasps) Darling, yes. She wouldn't go out with us. I know that much. She'd think she'd be in the way. David, listen to me. Don't you ever, ever let me catch you being so nice to anybody else's mother. You go ask her, darling. She must have been lonesome if she came over. That's what I think. Uh, Mrs. Brown? Yes? How about joining us in potluck for dinner? I wouldn't hear of it. Will you two go on out and eat? It's the door. I'll go. Who now? No, let me, let me. I'm already there. You think this was your house? David, who do you think? Oh, fine. Good evening. Oh, lady. Did I make you on time? You did, but the rest of the schedule's off. Huh? What's that? It's him again, David, the moving man. Fine. Ask him to dinner. Did you call him? No. Did you? Of course not. Uh, you can bring those things right in. <gasps> Our wedding presents. I bet, da- David, I bet she did Come that. Oh, lady. These barrels ain't butterflies. And we're supposed to be out while she unpacked them all. She is the limit, that woman. Hi, uh, mister. Catch your barrels. Mama, you're terrible. I decided to let you sleep with them for a while. <laughs> right here in the hall. Here, I'll give you a hand. Mama, you're an angel. You don't... I wish you'd have been out of the way the way you were supposed to be. I'd have had everything arranged for you. I'm glad we're not. I want to arrange them myself. I'm sorry, girls. You'll have to move over. Now, come on. Let's take it sideways. Gotcha. Easy. Easy. There we are. Uh, put it right in the middle of the room, David, huh? Uh, I let, let her down. It, yeah, I let her down easy. Okay. Well, that's one. Two more to go. Now, wait till I take off my coat. Now, can I try rolling the other one in. Hey, Mama, let's open this one up and start taking things out, shall we? What about your dinner? Oh, it can wait. Come on. All right. Come on. The second one. There you are. Uh, look, let's uh, try rolling them, huh, mister? Right, right. You make an awful mess, Claudia. Oh, who cares? Home isn't home without one's wedding presents around. Watch out. Here's another one. Get out of the way, Mama. You get out of the way yourself. Here's another one. Look out, ladies. Watch your toes. Oh, you do. Yeah, that's that. Uh, We'll have to move the sofa out of here, Claudia. Oh, no. They won't take half as much room when they're unpacked. Of course not. They'll shrink when they're out of the barrel. Hey, look at this bonbon dish. Beautiful, isn't it? You didn't like it so much at my house. It looks different here somehow. Well, that's the last of them. You sure got a lot of wedding presents, lady. Well, if that's all, I'll be running home to the missus. It's awfully late. I hope she won't be worried. Uh, We've been married ten years almost. Don't you worry after ten years? No. Oh, well, you've been awfully nice. If we ever move again, we'll we'll call you to help us. I'll be looking forward to that, lady. Oh, oh I, uh, I left that extra box in the hall. What extra box? The one I put those two silver pots in. <gasps> Aunt Louise's soup tureen. I was hoping you'd lost them on the way. We don't lose nothing, mister. Now, night. Good night. Good night. Oh, Mama, here are the candlesticks. Look. The first of a long line of candlesticks. Claudia, let's have dinner while we do this. I'm hungry. Say, that gives me an idea. 
We'll use our wedding presents tonight. You go out. I'll unpack them. Nothing doing. I'll do it fast or alone. Mm. Conceited, too. Well, oh, here, what is this? Oh, the fish knives that look like little fish. Say, we can use them tonight, too, Mama. One silver plate coming up. David, what did we put on that? Mm, peanuts. I'd forgotten that plate. It's not bad at all. Peanuts for it. Peanuts on what? Just unpack, don't ask questions. Oh, wish I'd never begun this. Wait a minute. What have you oh, got, Mama? Silver cigarette box. Oh, good. We'll put cigarettes in it. Here, uh, hand me three bonbon dishes, Mama. Oh, wait a minute, Madeline. I'll find them. I'll be here back in a second. There won't be room in here to turn around. I'll put some of this stuff on the dining room table. Uh, David. Yes, Mother? Really, I, I didn't mean to walk in and upset everything. I, I was going to... I know, Mother. We're glad you're here. I have an idea Claudia was pretty lonesome all day. She's got to get used to filling her own life. She will. Just a little time. Here are the napkins and glasses, one for each of us. What are you cooking up, Claudia? You'll see. I'm not sure I want to see. Keep unpacking, you two. I'll be right back. You heard her, David. Unpack. I am working like a beaver. Well, we're almost ready for another barrel. I didn't know we had so much stuff. No. Mama. Now, now, Mama, you, you find a chair to sit on. They're occupied. There's a vase in each one. <laughs> then uh, pick up a piece of floor. <laughs> and make yourself comfortable. What for? Very simple. A christening. Claudia, what is this? What do you think it is? The salmon mousse, of course. Dressed up in a tomato. And <laughs> served very <laughs> elegantly. Claudia, you're mad. We can't eat salmon mousse off a bonbon dish. Why not? That's right, Mother. Why not? And, and, and we could christen the little fish knives, too. Excellent. Excellent. You know, I thought since it was a cold leftover supper, we might just as well picnic in here. That's very sensible, Claudia. Well, aren't you going to eat, Mama? Uh, I might as well. David, if we lean against each other's backs, we'll be much more comfortable. You know, I believe that's a good idea. This is much nicer than eating out. This is wonderful. I'm beginning to like this stuff. Mama, you, all our own things around. And our old friend, the salmon. <laughs> <David>. <laughs> well, I don't like to interrupt this, but if you two would move over, there'd be room on the floor for me. story material used on this broadcast of Claudia was under the supervision of Rose Franken and William Brown Maloney. You know, it gives a hostess a mighty nice feeling to know she has a supply of frosty Coke in the refrigerator. Now that Coca-Cola is more plentiful, it's so easy to be prepared for hurry-up hospitality. Next time you shop, ask your dealer for a comfortable supply, a carton or a case. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir and remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. Thank you.